All right, so if you were just tuning in, we were, in fact, going through doubles. Uh, we're putting doubles on hold for a little bit because we are starting singles now. Yeah. And, um, of course, this is the last chance qualifier for ni uh, for the summit next yeah. weekend. La LCQ, you need to get in. If you can't get your votes, might as well win this. Yeah. I mean, people, there was a lot of people saying that, you know, X, Y, and Z players should be in there mm -hmm. just because they're so good at the game. This is their opportunity. They had an opportunity at Genesis. Yeah. Well, didn't quite work out. It is, you know, kind of hard to put everything on one event. Mm-hmm. For, for all your skill, but now you have one more. Yeah, this is the this is your final opportunity, and we got Esam versus Chu, and we got a uh, Daisy versus a Pikachu. This is probably uh, going to be a pretty popular matchup, especially like how how good Daisy is right now. Like they're just they have so much pressure with the float, and like they're super, you know, just they have so much pressure. That's right. Yeah. I mean. They have, of course, you know, turn up, so they have that range pressure. They also have the fa the safe forward air. Yeah. All the float cancels, back air out of shield. So they pretty much have everything to make them an amazing character in this game, along with being able to stall in the air. Yes. And, and with Pikachu, Pikachu has pretty good anti airs with the up tilt to, like, start up a combo. Uh -huh. The Nair also to set up a jab block, and so is the down tilt. Actually, Esam's been kind of controlling the stage right now and got him with a down throw to fair. That's right. That was a good chase off the down throw. Mm -hmm. um, of course, it does send them a little bit forward, and then Esam is chasing with the forward air. But wow, the aggression just continues for Esam. Mm -hmm. One thing I love about Esam is that he is always aggressive. Mm -hmm. Like this is a player oh, who loves to go in. Yo, he went way up off stage. He just climbed that second platform, jumped up, got him with the fair, and now we got a back air not going to connect. But actually, doesn't matter. He got him with the hop tilt. Quick twenty two. Yeah, Church, is, uh, Church was doing like good job of sort of keeping up with Esam's damage output and just like in the boxing situations in the beginning. But as soon as Esam started to roll, he really took advantage. Yeah, it it looked like it took a little bit for Esam to get that small download. But there's the down tilt. Oh, no up there. I couldn't get that confirmed. Oh, uh, I feel like uh, Church is kind of just throwing out hitboxes, trying to get a uh, confirmed. But there's the up smash. And wow, chasing him all the way off the top with the down B. I mean, the the down the thunder does drag you down if you do get hit by the top. Mm -hmm. So you know it's a great tool for, uh, especially characters who like to stay in the air. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, we just know how comfortable Esam is with thunder because he's had what three games to, like <laughs> to, to master that. Yeah, but like this is a whole different one, you know. The, like they didn't really have that spike hitbox until the last game. That's but right, until Smash 4. Yeah, it didn't have it in Brawl, it didn't have it in Melee, but that whole that new mechanic is making Pikachu, I feel like, a lot more threatening. Because usually you would try to just hit him with Thunders and like kill him off the top, but yeah. now you could spike him, you could like drag him down, hit him with the side, right. and kill him off the side. Right. Out sub 60. Well. Sometimes. Oh, oh that's, that's a bomb! Oh, a quick 40%! <laughs> Who needs combos <laughs> when he got RNG on your side? <laughs> <laughs> what an explosive start for Chu. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. And he said, I'm pretty sure you have to be shook no matter how good you are after that. I mean, let's just... Esam should just be happy that he, uh, that Chu just threw it right in his face and, just, you know, <laughs> Esam took the 40. You know, a, maybe a different Daisy actually could have comboed into it, like with Z-drops, and j actually been able to convert that into a kill. <laughs> yeah, but... Dude, who knows? Maybe it's just better to throw it out. <laughs> you know, That's you're true. not expecting it. It's like 340 oh. damage. <laughs> oh, there's the jab block. Oh, he did an extra. He actually did it two extra caps, and that made him fall out of it. And there's another opportunity. Yo, do you see how he's pushing him immediately after the first jab block to go for the second one? That's right. He's using that so he can push him closer to the ledge and make the distance that much closer to the uh, blast zone. Mm -hmm. But actually, a retaliation from uh, from Church getting him with that fair. And now Esam needs to close out the stock because that momentum for Church is actually going to help him out a lot. But the, wow, the actually the Thunder Jolt 2 dash attack <laughs> confirmed. That's right. Quickly so, closing it out. So one thing I'm looking for from Esam in this matchup is you notice how earlier in the match he did that third jab to like, and it and it made Chu like stand up. Mm -hmm. He's been working on uh, jab resets. So mm -hmm. not jab locks, but then in fact just putting him back into like a, a neutral stance and then trying to reset them, doing something similar, and then like even possibly getting a re-grab into more damage. Oh. Wow, going on stage and just continuing his aggression. 
Another oh. down air, but two is going to be able to greet that one out. Oh, actually hitting with the forward air. Kind of a weird option, and Eastern kind of falling off stage. But right now, we have um, Chu in a pretty disadvantageous position after that explosive start. Okay, forward air eating that thunder jolt and landing some damage along with it, oh. but the down smash not going to kill from across stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the fo the forward smash getting him on the neutral getup, and Esam now has all the momentum in the world yet again. Oh, back air to Nair. I, I haven't seen Esam um, use Nair that much this matchup at all, and in, in this matchup at all. And you know, that's exactly what I was thinking. That you know, a, a lot of Peach Pikachu's were saying that uh, Nair is going to be broken. It's going to be like Pikachu's best tool mm -hmm. when this game came out. But really, when it comes down to it, we still see a lot of forward airs, back yeah. airs. Down airs, especially because it has that that uh, earthquake hit now. Mm -hmm. 